Hi folks, uh, my name is Dr. Gwen Wielden and I'd like to welcome you to one of our first video lectures on how, uh, how you're going to use the iPad in Calculus at Hood. So one of the programs that we're going to use a lot here at Hood is a program called Notability, which I use often enough that it's made it here to my home dock screen. So just to let you guys know, if you hold any app icon, to move it somewhere that's easy for you to find, you can just drag. So I tend to drag apps that I use a lot down to my dock. To get out of this afterwards, you can hit the home button to stop all of your dragging. Now that you've got that, let's open Notability. So this is actually, again, Notability is a software that we use a lot here at Hood. And a lot of my students report winding up using it in tons of classes after leaving calculus. But we're, since we're going to be filling out a lot of worksheets, we found that this was a really good way to get files to you folks. So for us, um, let's go to Blackboard and see how you're going to be downloading worksheets in Calculus. So in our course page, which you guys are going to get to through some link, so we've got here in Blackboard, um, this semester it's uh, Calc 1, Section 3 is my course. To get to the worksheets that we're going to use in class, there's a little tab on the left over here called Class Worksheets. Clicked on the wrong guy. So one of our class worksheets for the very first day is something called the pedometer activity. So we're going to open this file up just as an example. So immediately when we open it up, you guys might have seen there was an open in option. If we click the file again, just somewhere in the center, and click open in, it gives us an option to all of the different apps that you can open a PDF in. So I have a lot of these, but for us, right now, let's just open this app in Notability. So when you have a new note in Notability, that takes whatever PDF you have and it's going to create a new file with only that PDF in it. So we want all five of the pages in this document, so just hit OK, and that'll create a new PDF called Pedometer F13, and our activity which you can scroll up and down in this document using t uh, two fingers anywhere in there. Use a single finger, just going to write on the document, which we can undo with this undo button. We're going to scroll down to the first sort of fill out portions of this activity. So with this pen tool that you saw me scribble with just a moment ago with, if we click on the pen a second time once we've selected it, we have the option to change um, the style of our pen. So I tend to use a solid stroke, and this one, you know, the second smallest of the pen widths tends to be very good for filling out worksheets. And I'm going to stick with this bright purple color so you guys can see it. So I don't know if you guys have ever had a chance in the past to fill out um, something on a on a touch screen, but it often feels like you're a kid sort of trying to finger paint to write stuff that looks nice. So that's ugh, that's terrible. So that's not good. So one, if you need to correct an error like that mess I have over there, the eraser tool lets you, when you uh, touch that eraser tool to any one, two, any things that are on this, you can see that while I'm still holding down the eraser, those lines just became transparent. When I remove them, just those lines are erased. So only things that are connected will be erased by a single eraser stroke. So you can use the eraser for very delicate removal of portions of your document. But let's look at how we can make writing that looks nice and fill out worksheets in a way that isn't really messy and huge. And the way we're going to do that is by selecting this magnifying glass tool down at the bottom of the screen. So that magnifying glass gives us a scalable little box that we can write in directly down here in this area. So you can see that writing in the box, which gives me a really large, nice space to write in, turns into, when I unclick that, that uh, magnifying glass, it turns into very crisp writing up there. We can also, if we need to move anything that we write ahead of, or, you know, after the fact, we can like lasso it by just drawing a big loop around it. And once that text is lassoed, it can be moved around by dragging inside the lassoed region. We can also, by clicking on style, um, change things like the thickness of the lines, not very good here, or the color of the text. 
or clicking back inside that selected region, um, use, uh, pinching or pulling inside that region can change the size and orientation of anything that's written. So I probably want to keep it the way it is, so I'm going to hit the undo button. We can also, with the marker tool, after we have something that we like, we can highlight it um, there are various other things that we can do. In terms of just moving around the document, this pointer allows you to drag, without needing a two-figured scroll, to move up and down. Later, when we start filling out worksheets, you can draw careful pictures, plot points. Obviously, that's not going to be a good graph of the data for our class next time. So when we're done with something, or if we just scribble on our document, we can actually lasso the whole thing, click in that region, and we can delete it directly. So Notability is a very fast, adaptable software for you to annotate PDFs or take your own notes. So to show you guys a few other features that are really useful in Notability, click on this stack of papers, which opens the thumbnail region. So in this, you can see the, as a highlighted document what page you're currently on. If you click and hold inside the highlighted page, or any actually any of the pages, you can reposition it in the order of the document. If we wanted to, we could either delete the entire page or clear all the annotations that we've made on it. And by clicking on this plus button, we can add an empty page above or below any uh, page in our current document or notes. So I'm going to add a page above that's going to be um, a new sample like file for maybe us to take notes in mid-class. So let's hide our thumbnails by re-clicking on the stack of papers. And it can be a little hard to write neatly in just a big white space. So let's select this wrench up here in the top right to change properties of our paper. So if you really wanted, you could have sort of a rich chocolate colored paper or purple polka dotted paper. I'm not really recommending this for careful math notes, but we can change our backgrounds to fit different notes. And we can also change our paper to have lines of different thicknesses or grid paper. So I tend to use this very narrow grid paper as a good way to organize my math work. So as a sample, uh, let's say, whoop, get that, that might thicken my lines. Let's call this a sample notability file. Um, I tend to enjoy handwriting a lot of my notes, but I have other students that report that they're more comfortable typing. So to type inside a note, if you just click anywhere in a note, that'll open up your text um, text properties. We could make our text a little smaller. That's a way if you want to type while you take notes in calculus, one way to do it. Another way, clicking this text and holding anywhere in the document. So I held my pointer there. I can add a text box. So this is movable text and notability. And this text doesn't always appear to the far right. And I can drag this by clicking on it and moving it where I'd like it to be. I can also, click and holding on this, I can change paper inside a little text box or highlighting text we can actually change properties of the text. So we'll leave this guy alone for now. But we'll be able to find him later if we need him. Um, another feature that's very useful for us in the calculus classes is, since we have an electronic textbook, you might want to take snapshots of your textbook while you're filling out homework. So we're going to go back to, go back to the web browser. And in Blackboard, we actually have a link to your electronic textbook. Since it's a web accessible text, we're going to get to it from down here in the external links section. 
So this is the MEA calculus text modeling and uh, calculus modeling and application. So after you've purchased this text and obtained a, a login ID, I've logged in already. So from the main sort of uh, text purchasing page and login page, the way to get to our textbook is to go to My Orders, click on this Click to View button, and access the calculus ebook. So that's down here. And the book we're going to use is the full text, which opens to your table of contents. And what a lot of students in the past have reported is trying to log in every time from that page can be a little frustrating. So to save this main page with all of your, your you know, all of the, the real textbook in it, click on this export button up here, and you can add this to a home screen. So what this does is it creates a little link appeared here on the next page. So this link will take you directly to our calculus text when you want to get to it. So for now, I can show you guys also what we're going to do with this textbook and what might make it a little easier to fill out homework that you're going to submit to your instructor. Let's say you were filling out some homework in the exercises section of section 1.3. So you might have to answer um, a question like this. For each of the relationships, determine whether the relation is or isn't a function. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit by pinching. And the way that you can take a snapshot is by quickly, at the same time, holding the home screen button and the power button. So you can tell that you, take a, you took a snapshot by you'll hear a little photo sound. So to get back to that, I actually see how to import this into Notability. Just reopen whatever file you've been working on. And up here in the right hand corner, there's a plus button where you have the option to add a photo. So you see that photo has appeared in my camera roll, so we're going to click on that. And since that's a little hard for us to read, we're going to edit and maybe just keep a problem or two from this. So to crop this, go up to that little uh, picture frame looking thing and select, let me just do exercises one through three this time and hit done after you've selected the area that you'd like to have inserted into your text. So with this, clicking anywhere in that textbook while it's selected will let you move it and grabbing one of the corners will allow you to scale it. So if we wanted to answer this question, determine whether the relation is or isn't a function, um, we could say yes. Um, height is a function of time. And when you're finished, you can submit to your instructor using the export button. So we would select from the folders whatever folder you share with your instructor. So you'll actually only have one folder here that's visible. Select a folder, hit export, and send to Dropbox. So now that folder is available for you to look at later inside your Dropbox folder. So everything that you share, you might have noticed that I saw a file pop up here on the right. I can actually see all of the files that you submit to me. I think I put that in that Thomas's folder. So I can see all of the files that people submit to me just by clicking on them here. I can scroll down and see whatever has been selected. Alright, well that's it for this video and I will see you guys next time.